Hi everybody, it's Granny J. Clay again today. And since I had uh, just a request to show how I had made these birds right here, um, I thought I would just do a quick video today of something just really, really, really easy. Um, I was trying to remember, this is where I got the print for the bird. Um, can't remember what these are called. Somebody can help me out, I know. It's Doris. But you generally would take like a piece of paper and put it through here and one is recessed and one is um, raised. And you put the paper in between and um, you could make it look really pretty that way. Well, I used it for the clay, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, so I'll use this, but I also had maybe this one I might wanna use, which has some leaves on it, but that would make a pretty print, I think, um, as well. If I can figure out how to open it here, sorry. Okay, there we go. So one's raised, one's recessed. And then here's another one that is pretty, that I like. Um, what does this say? The Paper Studio. Anyway, I think I got these at Joanne Fabrics um, many years ago. So we'll see, I'll use one or the other. Uh, let's see, I think I'll lay them off to the side here and we'll get started. The, the ones here that I showed you yesterday came from this little mold. That's a push mold. It just pops right out of there. So all you do is you take some clay and you press it in there. And so that's what I'm going to do with this. And I think what I'll use is, I've got some right sitting right over here. I think what I'll use is, is some of this clay. And this is Primo. I will tell you that I have so much leftover clay <laughs> from when I clayed a couple years back that I'm trying to use up my leftover clay. So this, this particular clay I really like. It's really, really pretty, but I wanna warm it up a little bit. So all I do is I just would take it like this and I'll move these aside. This is um, another bird that I will use. I made some really tiny little birdies here, as you can see. I should flip this one this way because they can be used as earrings. You can flip them um, if you have a print on both sides. And I have a print on both sides of this as well. So it can be, that'd be a pretty big pair of earrings, but um, it, it'd be a pretty necklace. And there we have that, if you can see it. Anyway, I'm gonna use these colors and here's the other ones. Uh, this goes with that. I should put it over here with these little cutters. But let's do this one first. Um, I think what I'll do is kind of move these out of the way for a moment. And I'll bring this over here, this over here. And all I'm going to do is take it and stick it in to the, um, into the mold, just like that. It's, it really doesn't take, take much to, to do this. You just wanna make sure that you're mold is nice and full. I forgot how dry your clay, dry your hands get when you work with clay. Uh, my hands tend to be a little dry anyway, um, even when it's humid outside, but they really get dry when I work with clay. So then I, I kind of make it the shape, sort of, not really, but kind of, and then I just push it in, push, 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 force it in, to the grooves. Sometimes I even take it and go like that, open it up a little bit, bend it, and push it in. And it does. It's it's okay if it doesn't hit perfectly. Um, down here, I'm not going to put any clay because that feather always ended up being a little bit too. It just was a little bit too skinny, and it would pop off. So I just left it off, as you can probably see over on these um, these birdies right here. Let's see here, if I, hopefully you can see this. And I'll back up a little bit. Okay. Hope everybody's doing okay today. I talked with my mom and bless her heart. Uh, she called earlier and she wanted to know why she was in the building that she was in. So I had to explain that to her a little bit. And you know, she will understand that at the time. Um, she's in a healthcare center but she has some dementia that she's battling. And um, so, let's see, I'll put that down. I explained as best I could. And 
I told her I would call her later and something that she really loves are candy. She loves candy. She loves the York peppermint patties. So I had already taken a bunch to her and put them in a little baggie in one of the little drawers in her room. And so I have told the CNAs there that they could, you know, take some of that out once in a while and give it to her because it will make her day. All right, so that's that so far. I stuffed it as full as I could get it, as you can see there. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take one of my blades, and I'm sure I sh showed you blades before, but um, it just has a, oh, excuse me, I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> You're really getting me in the raw. Um, okay, here we go. So what, what I do is I just kind of, one end is sharp, and so I just lay it and lightly kind of saw across it, take some off. As you can see, it is shaping up pretty well there. Just trying to get the excess off on the back um, as best I can before I pull it out of the mold. Okay, here we go. Maybe I'll come from this way now too. I hope you can see that. Okay. And then I just um, take what I have left here and move it. And then I just take it and uh, I got this teeny little roller and I just rolled over it like this. This is just a hollow little roller. Uh, I haven't dug my acrylic roller out yet. Honestly, you guys are getting me when I'm just barely coming back into claying here. So, bear with me. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna pop it out. So I bend it like that, very carefully, as best I can anyway, and release it. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty, I think. Um, and there's always some ends, as you can see, maybe you can see um, there. Do you see how there, a little bit of, um, what I don't want is on there. So what I'm going to do is I'll take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to just uh, trim that up a little bit. Just get it out of there. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And then I just go around and see if I can uh, find any areas that need some extra and then I'll smoothing out, and so I'll smooth it out a little bit. But what you can do after this bakes is you can put it on another piece of raw clay, trace around it, and then um, put some of this Genesis. I know I've shown this some a while back, many years ago, <laughs> too. Uh, and you can take this and you, you dip your finger in it, and it looks kind of like, oh, I don't know. I think it looks like Vaseline. I might have said that before, but you take a little bit and you just rub it on the back of your uh, bird, put it on here, and it makes it um, adhere without bubbles. And you don't really want bubbles if you make layers of clay. But I think I would do that if I made a pin out of this. I would make another backing for it and make the backing pretty as well. Uh, maybe with a different kind of a... Um, texture. So I'm going to show you how to finish this off, but let's let's make the other birds first. I'm going to get rid of these, and now these are the two I'll do next. Let's see here. Let's do those in, let's do those in green. Now this is the little one, and these would make cute earrings just stacked on top of each other and hanging like that, or, or just, you know, one at a time. And they're very lightweight. One of the things that, um, that has bothered me about clay is if I get it too thick, then it's just not um, easy to wear on your ear. At least it isn't in my ear, so I need to make things thinner and lighter. So I'm gonna have a little season of making littles, <laughs> I think. But here's this size and here's this size. So you could have a necklace out of this and you could have earrings out of that. So what I'm gonna do for you here is I will take this sheet and I'm going to lay it down like that and then I'm going to 
to lay this back over it and just press it down. And I've got some, I'll just use this. I can press it down just with my fingers, but it helps if I just take like this little roller that I've got. I've got a burnisher here too. I know I've shown you that in years past. A little burnisher and I could, I could use that as well. Um, maybe the side of it would work better. But actually, I like this. So I'm going to use my little roller. And then just make some nice indentations in the clay. And I turn it over and I rub it a little bit more. If you had a really sticky clay, this wouldn't probably work as well, but you could spray. You could spray on the inside with a little bit of water. Okay, just taking it apart. And there you can see it. There's that side and that side. So we will get, well, I guess it's on these. We'll get both sides to look pretty. That one, that one. So they'll, they'll both look pretty. All right, so I think I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna lay it right. Um, maybe I'll get it so that looks like an eye there. And then I'm gonna press. And remember, we do have, on the other side, we have a pretty print too. So, and they line up because these align. All right. Now, I'm gonna see if I've got anything sticking out. I do have a little bit sticking outside of the uh, little cutter here. And, okay, there we go. I think that's good. And what I do then is I take my homemade, my homemade needle tool. That's just a needle, a needle that I put in uh, some clay and then I baked it. And then I go way to the tip and kind of push down on it. And over here and push down on it. And there we have it, fell out. Okay. And then I wanna get rid of the clay here so I don't stick to it. So I use my other blade for that. How's that look? Does that look pretty good? Sometimes I go around it with my needle tool. Make sure it's smooth. Okay, there we go. Now it looks like I had maybe, um, I've got a dental tool here that I'm going to use. My nephew is a dentist. Actually, I have uh, four nephews all in one family that are dentists. And um, he gave me a set of dental tools, used dental tools, which, you know, they were clean. But um, they really help get little bitty things out and there's just a little bitty thing right there. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in the garbage. I hope you guys are having a good day and you've done something that encouraged you today. Okay, so that one's done as well. And like I said, it's on the other side too. And I kind of try to go around and just tap, tap, tap with my finger and make it a little bit more even. I won't drill a hole in any of these until they're baked. Um, if you put a hole in raw clay, it tends to distort your piece a little bit. Um, and so I've just got a small drill, Dremel drill that I use, and it just quick, quick to drill a hole in there, and then you can do as you wish. Uh, make a necklace, add things. You could even punch a little heart right in the middle of that bird if you wanted to. So it would have a little hole in it, shaped like a heart. Okay, so that one's done. That one's done. And let's see here if I can come back up here a little bit. Now this one, uh, I think, let's see, which one should I do? Um, so that's the color I wanted to use for that. You know what? Uh, I may make, hmm, I may not make this color. It's okay to change your mind. I think I might make this pretty blue. I really like it. And I haven't done the leaves uh, as far as a print yet, so I will, I'll just lay this in here. Put that down. And again, get my little roller and press on it. Make sure. To, this morning I was listening to um, an audio 
uh, Bible reading on the book of Acts. Ah, oh, so good, so good. Uh, those of you that asked about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, if you ever read the book of Acts, um, it just explains it so well. Of course, God always explains things the best. All right, here we go. I'm going to move these little yellow ones way over here. These are the raw clay. Maybe I'll come back up a little bit further. All right, now I'm going to show you this. Pull it up a little bit. Oh, that's kind of pretty. I kind of like that. Now I'll kind of lift it up from the back here. It should have the same sort of print. It does, except this is indented and this this is this is recessed and this is raised. Okay, so I'll put it that way. And uh, nobody has to know that it was a tree. <laughs> so I'm gonna maybe put it right back here. Yeah, and I'm gonna put this one. Um, this one's gonna come this way. So I'll put that one there. And I'm gonna push, push down on both of them. In fact, I've got a little acrylic pad here that I'm gonna push down on. And we will see. I got these little, these bird kind of cookie cutter things from RJ Crafts and um, these other little bird birds as well. And the, it comes in a set. Um, there's several of them. Actually, then they come with wings too. If you wanted to put a wing on it, that comes separately and the, ring would, or the wing would be raised up. I think that'd be really pretty. Of course, you have to have the right size here for, for the bird. But it all comes in the kit. So now I'm gonna just make sure these are pushed down really well and I will lift them up, holding on to the cutters so nothing goes flying here. And hope that I can get it all up pretty well anyway. Okay. That there, there. Nothing polished about this presentation, is there? <laughs> That's all right, though. Okay. I'll try to get that out. Now, I'm just going to go around the edge, see if I've got any clay that might be sticking out. Just kind of do that. Okay. I usually work on a piece of glass. Um, well, I've got this tile. I've got a black tile to work on. But I kind of like the piece of glass that I use. It's from Memory Keepers, and it has measurements on it. So I'll probably be bringing that back out, too. You know what? Little by little here. Maybe we'll get going. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all works out in the end. Do any of you work on clay? I'd love to know if you do or if you have or if you're interested in doing so. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna use my little needle tool to kind of press it out just lightly so it can fall right into my hand here. Okay, and you'll see there's a little, some little pieces, scraggly pieces on it now. I'll get rid of those a little bit here. There's one. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna put I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna put that back on and kind of move it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll take it off. And this one's a little bit messier. I didn't push quite as hard on that, evidently. So you can always go in and clean your your messes up. Ex this the exacto knife. My goodness, you just use that all the time when you're working with clay. Okay, and I'll put that there. Okay, we'll get as much as we can out of here. Anyway. Anyway. 
it just takes a little bit of patience and actually practice and I haven't had practice for two years so I'm a little rusty at all of it it takes a little while you know for that um, for your speed to come back and everything I I quit cleaning oh gosh 20 some years ago too and then I picked it up again when I moved to Kansas because my grandkids wanted to learn how to do some things so um, but then actually I hurt my neck when I was making some things for our my grandson's baseball team I I just made the same Christmas ornament over and over and over for his team with different names on it it was a ba uh, baseball and two bats crossed anyway and it had the uh, the boy's name on it and also his number and I just made so many of those that um, and I made them fast and so I threw my neck out and that was really sore for a long time and um, so I stopped playing for a while and then I just decided I give it, give it a break I needed to give it a break I was giving it too much attention more attention than I should have been and you know how that is when you have a uh, a hobby that you just love um, you don't want to make dinner you don't want to do anything all you want to do is do that hobby and that was not a good thing I, I just hobbies are good things it's okay but if you're obsessed with it <laughs> it's not okay so I just decided okay Lord I'm just gonna give this up for a while and so I did but he's always understanding and kind and he I think because he is the creator he likes to see what we create too and I made all kinds of jewelry and gave it away for free um, just so much jewelry after I after I stopped making little things like this should show you this. Um, this is my little bunny and a uh, Easter basket and Easter eggs. Anyway, that was, oh my goodness, I'm not sure. I guess I didn't put a year on it. That was, that was many, 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 many years ago when, when I was really into making bunnies. Um, when I made a bunny uh, groom and bride for a top of a wedding cake <laughs> for my son's friends. But these are just so fun to make, just so fun. Uh, anyway, that was my my bunny from way back when. But when I stopped making little things like that, I started making some jewelry. And honestly, I prefer to make characters. Um, just, you know, make up my own characters and animals and and make things that way. Okay, let me see if I can just come around with this and kind of smooth it out a little bit. Okay, this is kind of sneaky in here. Um, there was a time, <coughs> excuse me, that I would go to crap. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna get a drink. There was a time that I would go to craft shows and um, and then I had a craft show at my friend's house in Pure, South Dakota many, many, many years ago. And I had made all kinds of stuff to take to that. And that, that was a very good show. But, you know, it takes time, it takes money. And then you have to want to sell it. I just really never liked selling things. I guess I prefer giving things away. So I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if I can justify being uh, making things if all I ever do is give them away and never make money to buy my own clay back. But I don't know. That's just my heart. Just I enjoy giving. Okay. So there's that. Now let me pick this one up and show you. And there's the back of that one. 
And if you lay it down, you can just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Um, you'll see a little bit of a rough spot here and there, but it, it will generally come off pretty easy, uh, pretty easily. So there's that. And I'll pick this one up and do the same with that. Just kind of smooth the edges out. Okay, now I think what I'm gonna do is show you how to put um, some Pearl X on, on the pieces. And this is kind of a messy thing to do, but oh, so pretty. It just is so pretty. And I, uh, I put it on the front. I don't know if you can see it very well. I put it on the front and I also put it on the back. Um, I'm a big believer in if you make something, make the back look nice too, if it's gonna show, especially. Um, if you want something lightweight, you're not going to add another piece of clay behind here. If you don't <clears throat> mind it being a little heavier, maybe a necklace, then you could add another piece of clay behind. So, not knowing what I'm gonna do for sure, I just thought, well, why not I, why, why don't I just uh, do this? All right, so now I'm going to use the Pearl X powder, and I'll show you what I do. Uh, okay, I have this little, oh, what does it say here? Sponge it stick, sponge it stick. And I use this for various things, and I just use the end. And, and many times I use my finger, just my finger. And what I need to do is to tip it upside down and back, and all I want is some in the cap. And I'm gonna just take my Pearl X powder, and that's what that looks like. This is Pearl White, I, ugh, it's my favorite. Pearl White is just so beautiful. And then you just lightly, 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 lightly um, put it where you want it. And I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's making it sparkle a little bit extra there. And then I'll put some on here as well. And it kind of just makes that print or the design, piece of hair there, it makes the print or the design show up a little bit better. And you have to do it on raw clay. You can't bake it and then do it. It just doesn't stick. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> okay, and I'll put some over here. Let me get a little bit more out of the bottle. And And some is going to get on the areas that are not raised, and that's okay. It just looks pretty. It just adds a little glisten, a little bit of a glisten to it. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is, let's see if I can get a little bit more here. Um, I'm going to take... My, one of my little index cards. I always bake on an index card. I reuse my index cards. Uh, because I don't like that shiny back, I don't know sometimes if I'll use the back or let the back show or not, but if I do, I don't want it to be shiny. So I need to turn that over and come back in. Okay. And we'll just put a little bit more on here. Actually, I need a little bit more out of there. There we go. That's better. Okay. Okay, so there's the front. There's the back. And I'll put that one over here. And I'll pick up this little birdie. And we'll do the back of him, and we'll do the back of this guy too. Once you do the Pearl X on one side, it makes it pretty smooth, so it, it's not really gonna stick as much to the surface. 
although I'm not pressing hard on it. This stuff, this Prolax stuff, it, it just gets everywhere. It's it's kind of like what glitter does, but yeah, this this is different than glitter. This makes it it shine really pretty. There's different colors. I've got a whole bag of different colors. And uh, thankfully, they don't wear out, and they they last uh, a good long time. So, okay. So, there's one here, another one here. Put that there. I love this periwinkle blue. I actually mixed a couple of my, there we go. I mixed a couple of my um, clays together. Like I said, I was trying to use up. Um, let me just get this wiped up a little bit. I was trying to use up my clays, and um, I'm still going to try to do that. Otherwise, it'd be a terrible waste if I didn't. And um, so I mixed some colors together, and I got this beautiful, beautiful periwinkle blue. So, now I'm not all cleaned up here, but I will get all cleaned up when I'm off camera. So that's what I wanted to show you for today, um, since somebody requested that I do that. Um, there you go. <laughs> there you go. And um, if you have time yet today, uh, go to the book of Acts in the Bible and read at least the first couple of um, chapters. It's just, it, it's so good. It, it just, you know, that's the beginning of when the church began. That is the beginning of the church. So check it out and uh, see what you think. Okay, now I'm going to bake these at 275 for a full hour. And I'm going to put a, a tent. What I do is I take my card and I put it on a little tile and then I carry it to my oven. But before I put it in the oven, I put it on this cookie sheet. It's just easier to get in and out of the oven. So I put it on the cookie sheet and then I bake it at 275 for a full hour and cover it with tin foil so it makes a tent. I don't want it to touch it. I just want it to tent over it. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I know it was <laughs> very elementary and not real polished, but, um, but there you go. You guys have a great evening tonight and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.